Now, speaking of August, and we're getting closer and closer to the peak of hurricane season. This has been a struggle to do anything over the last several hours. Again, it got ripped apart. Fred did as it moved over the mountainous terrain. And now with that very much exposed center, we're just now in the last couple of hours beginning to see the thunderstorms develop at least near the center, if not right at it. So it is attempting to get better organized, but wind shear is really going to cause problems for this in the next 24, maybe even 36 hours. And that's why the Hurricane Center kind of keeps it as a depression, possibly not becoming a storm until late Friday, early on Saturday. Then as it continues into the Gulf, we could see some of that wind shear wane a bit to allow further strengthening. But right now, none of the computer models are indicating that this would strengthen to a hurricane. So the model intensity for forecast are all going with a tropical storm. We have started to see a little bit of a spread in the models, but the consensus is still and over the last several days, the central panhandle of Florida, and that really has not changed. Again, the upper steering looks like it is going to come to fruition. A break in the upper ridge is going to allow the storm to make that turn in the eastern Gulf and northward toward the Florida panhandle. Wind shear that you can really see here is Florida. This is an upper low and that wind shear where Fred is going to be moving is going to really limit any further intensity uh, development for the storm. Now, as we get into the weekend, we could see that shear weaken a little, but even the new model runs have fairly intense wind shear really across the entire life of Fred. So may not see that really do much as it approaches land, which would be great. Here's the next system that we're watching. This is Invest 95 has a high percent chance of developing really in the next two or or five days. So kind of the next couple of days, a 60% chance, three to five days, a 70% chance. At the moment, the models kind of indicating it will move in the direction of the Caribbean, but a little bit of the consensus either has the islands or maybe even north of the Caribbean. Still a lot of time to watch it, a lot of uncertainty with this. And at the moment, a lot of the models not even indicating it's going to last beyond moving toward the islands. So we will wait and see. Even if it was coming right at us, this wouldn't be until next weekend. A lot of time.